Jeremy here from Jeb Zaps. We're going to start this uh, off talking about Golden Pick, the latest app from Jeb Zaps. I'm going to start by saying that this is going to be a very, very useful app for photographers, uh, hikers, filmmakers, campers, fishermen, pilots, hunters, and many more. But specifically, a message to you photographers out there this is uh, one of those apps uh, that is absolute, absolutely going to change the way you do things. Uh, here's our golden pick icon, so we're going to touch that to launch, have our nice little splash screen here. It's going to bring up the application, it's going to ask the GPS what our current location is, and then it's going to populate the important information. So we have today's date, our location, uh, in the morning, sunrise, the blue hour start, sunrise, the golden hour ends, then the uh, sunset, our golden hour is going to start at this time. Sunset will occur here, and the blue hour is going to end there. Then we're going to have our moon phases and moon rise and moon set time if available. And then if the date that we're looking for is within four days, which when we launch to today, it's going to give us the weather if the weather data is available for that location. So this main screen also has a couple other little buttons here. We see a little icon, the globe with the plus. This is to access save locations. And the email icon is to send this information to yourself or someone else. This is a lot of information and it's all very important. Uh, and this is the, the nuts and bolts of the app, right? The real meat and potatoes. Um, now we're gonna talk about all of the different uh, things that you can interact with on the main screen. Uh, we can start with the date. For the date, we can swipe to change the date. And we can see a rotation so that we can see what's happening here. I wanna jump to the next day or the next day or jump back. Say you jump so far ahead, you get excited and you're having fun and flipping dates and uh, you wanna touch the date you can choose any date or you can also hit the today button to jump back to the current date. So that, that's a nice nice little feature. Um, the location, you can touch the location to change. It's going to bring up all of our change location options. You can use the current location button to query the GPS to get your updated current location. You can search by map, which will use Google Maps to let you touch on the map. You can search by a specific address, enter latitude, longitude, or if you've saved locations, you can go access those saved locations. And we'll go through each of these. Uh, current location, basically you hit it, it asks the GPS, where are you at, GPS updates, and there you go. Search by map, we can go to the Google Maps, see where we're at, touch somewhere else, preferably not in the middle of the Atlantic, and hit select, and it's going to get that location, find out where it is, and say, okay, we're at 356 Delta Place in Canton, North Carolina, and then give us information. And you'll notice now that because we've chosen somewhere on the East Coast, my time zones for the Sunrise Times has changed. So this is cool if you're planning a vacation. You're gonna leave and go to Vegas this weekend, and you wanna plan a shot at uh, Red Rock, you can go to the maps, look up Red Rock, change the date to next Saturday, and see what time all of these events are gonna occur. And then you can even email a friend to say, hey, wanna meet here on Saturday for a photo shoot? You'll know what time you need to leave your hotel to get there, to be there ahead of time, to shoot during the golden hour. It's very, very cool functionality. Um, again, search by address. You can type in an address or put something like the Grand Canyon, hit search. We can go here and say, uh, let's jump to, uh, 1600 Pennsylvania Ave in Washington DC search oops search and that's going to bring up now we have the white house and we can see what time sunset's going to occur so we can go take the best pictures there we can play latitude, longitude, bingo. Uh, we bring up the latitude, longitude, and uh, we can see where we'll, where we'll end up when we make a couple spins and select. Or if you have specific coordinates to somewhere like uh, um, the Joshua Tree out in the desert or somewhere else famous that you wanna go, you can enter those. 
and see where you end up. So we're in Brandywine, West Virginia on a county road out there. Going to take some awesome pictures at sunset. Um, and then say we wanted to add this to our save location, we can choose to save this, give it a name, we'll just call it West of Ah, save it. Now that's going to be in our save locations. So when we come back in and choose save locations, here are all of our save locations. We can scroll up and down and we can see our newest one, West Virginia there. We can do a long click here to select this as our location, delete the location, move it up. So now we'll see it is now above the White House. Touch it again to move up again. And now it is above, whoops. Now it is above the White House and China. We can select that to set our location. Go back in and we can choose any of these, select the location, and there is our save location functionality. Now we're going to say we want to see uh, a couple days from now, select that date for this location, here are the events, and we want to touch the email button to send this information, button and bring up our email pre-populated with an email address that comes from the settings page. We'll go over that in a minute. Subject, the golden pick details, the date, the location, and all of our sunrise, sunset, uh, moon, and weather locate, or weather information. And we can actually see that the date we've chosen looks like it's going to be thunderstorms. This might not be the best date for us to plan to go do this photo shoot. So we can send the email to whoever we were planning to meet and say, hey, looks like it's going to pour rain that day. We should move this to another day. Send that off and fire off an email right from the application with all of the pertinent information on it. So I mentioned that the email address came from the settings page. So let's talk about that. We have four tabs at the bottom, golden pick, settings, location, and about. If we touch the settings, it'll bring up our settings options. We have a cancel and a save at the top. We have our selected background and we can see if we change the background, it'll give us a preview in the background of what it's going to look like. We can select a new one. We can also change from Fahrenheit to Celsius for the temperature, change from 12 hour to 24 hour for our time. Uh, we can tell the app to always save our last locations. When we go back in, it'll auto populate to the last location we had. And here's the default email address for the email uh, option to send to. So that's where I have this set to goldenpick at jebsapps.com. Uh, I personally set it to myself all the time. I'll go in, look up some information and fire off an email to myself. So I have it on my PC and I can look through my email and set reminders and whatever else. But it's great because you can do that all right from the application. So I'm going to go ahead and save this so we can see the new background image. As soon as we hit save, we go back to the main and it's changed our background. We see the new information on the last date we were on. We can touch that, jump back to today. Here we are for that location. Uh, one of the other things that I love in the settings is there are a lot of great backgrounds in here. We do have a plain white and a plain black, which uh, we found that uh, hunters and fishermen and people who don't want uh, a bright light when they're checking this information love to use. But one of my favorite features is to have this set to random and save it. And then each time the app launches, we're going to see a different random background. And the golden pick image is like refreshing the main or the golden pick button down here. So if you have it on random, you can touch this to jump through and see some of our different, very nice high resolution background shots. It's a pretty cool little feature, it's something that some people like. You know, if you find a favorite, you can stick with it from the settings, but if you like, you can, you can leave it on random. The next button down here on the tabs is the location, and this brings up the exact same location menu as touching the location here. Same options, same abilities, just another way to get there in case you forget that you can touch that. Um, the last button here is the about button. And this is about our app and us. Here's the version that you're running. Just in case you ever have issues, you can let us know. Tell us what version you're running and we will gladly work with you to resolve those. So don't run out and leave 
negative feedback if that does occur not that we're expecting it to this is a pretty awesome app uh, one of the other things that's real nice here is from within the app you can actually touch this little golden question mark and this is going to bring up the help section the help section is calling a web interface that we can update constantly so that you can always know what's going on how it works look up different definitions check out how to's on each different section and then hit cancel you're right back in the app if you want to jump to our web page and check out more about golden pick or look at the other things that we're doing you can touch this link here again it's going to make a web call from within the application bring up the golden pick website you can check out everything that Jebs Apps is doing from here, check out all the stuff about Golden Pick, see some different images, all different kinds of stuff, cancel, you're right back in the app. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr from here. If you have a suggestion or a question, you can touch the Golden Pick at Jebs Apps. Boom, you're going to send us an email right from here. Comments, type what you want, and send that right off to us. If you love this app and you want to tell a friend you can touch the love this app love this app button and uh, this will allow you to share that you love this app to Twitter Facebook email it to a friend text message it to somebody with a link to the application so they can go get it you go hey this is one of the best things I've ever used I want to tell somebody about it and down at the bottom is all of the legal mumbo jumbo telling you you know hey you use this at your own risk we're not responsible for you know if you use the map functionality or something like that, that reminds me, the map functionality. Uh, from the locations, if you are accessing the save locations to your favorites, when you touch them, the last option down there is map it. You can choose to map it to go to a location. It's going to ask you to use your current location. So it's going to say from here to there, we're going to map this location from your current coordinates to the save location it's going to bring up and offer you options do you want to drive to this location do you want to take public transportation do you want to walk or are you going to be on a bike this is using google maps to do directions you can uh, choose whatever options you want and tell it to go and bam it's going to give you those directions here so here are the directions that it came up with and evidently I'm going to be driving for about 22 hours and 42 minutes to get from here to, uh, where did I choose, Los Alamos? Yeah, Los Alamos, New Mexico. Sounds about right. Um, so that is one of the other great features that we have in the application uh, that you can enjoy. Uh, I want to ask everybody if you dig the app, tell a friend. Be sure to give us a rating in the App Store. Tell everybody else you love it. And, uh, you know, maybe shoot us a picture that you you use with it. Follow us on Twitter, like we mentioned before, at Golden Pick App. You can find all of that information from within the app. And, uh, oh, one other thing I've been wanting to mention. There's an Easter egg hidden in this app. Happy hunting. Thanks, the Jebs Apps team. Oh.